Hello and welcome to What's Up with Dota. So yesterday I missed the main client update because there was not a lot of news so I couldn't make a video about it. But since there's a lot of news today I'll put it in with this. So yesterday they nerfed the Aether Lens which now costs 550 gold for a recipe instead of the cloak so it will no longer provide magic resistance. This reminds me of like the 4 Staff nerf. When 4 Staff first came out a lot of people bought it. Even carries like Wraith King because it was the broadsword and the longsword and they both gave attack damage so it was really good for carries but then they switched it to support items with the ring of health staff of wizardry and the recipe and a lot of people stopped buying it for carries either way chen also got nerfed because hand of god cooldown is no longer reduced by aghanim scepter so that's kind of a big nerf like a really really big nerf because aghanim scepter made the cooldown very low but without the nerf now it's still pretty long but the heal's still there but it's not the same Invoker got nerfed because Invoker's spaced agility reduced from 20 to 14 and Deafening Blast mana cost increased from 200 to 300. So now even less spells to use on Invoker because you're going to be running out of mana and the base agility sure does hurt him a lot also. Some other change logs are Arc Warden's Tempest Double now grants XP to Arc Warden if it lands the killing blow on enemy heroes. Fixed a bug with Chen's Holy Persuasion and Lifestealer's Infest that would break Chen's selection state. And fixed a bug which would cause double click orders with upgraded boots of travel to target to an ally in the fountain rather than the fountain itself. And today there was also an update, mostly an economic update, just the Dota Cinema's Captain Draft 3.0 treasure chest has been added to the game and priced at 249 all sets boost the price pool by 10%. So now there is a set for Sand King, Spirit Breaker, Abaddon, Abaddon, however you want to pronounce it, Pugna, and Leshrac, and the added Dota TV ticket for Dota 2 League Season 2, GCDL Season 10, and Dota 2 SIVVIT League. All those are free to spectate, and the CDEC Master Dota TV ticket has been changed from amateur to professional tier. But that's enough of the updates. Now we're gonna go over to some Shanghai major announcements concerning the personalities that will be attending there and that won't be able to attend there. So, first off, we have James Harding who says, Delighted to be hosting the Shanghai major. We'll try and do Red Eye and Ryan Lewis proud edgy banter. Now I miss James Harding in the International 5 so it's great that he'll be hosting. He's been working on his own game. I know he's been very busy but it's good to see him again doing Dota related things. Next we have Scriff who says I'll be going to the Shanghai together with Wet Boss for the Valve Major doing observing. Hope we will not disappoint. Another confirm is Sir Action Slacks who says very happy to announce that I will be the host, stats person, English observer and LD of the Shanghai Major. Big ups to my homie Mao Zedong. Another person going to the Shanghai Major is Toby1. He says, Phew, I will be traveling to China at Dota 2 Major to cast. Expect other talent to start sharing now. So Toby's going also. And of course, since Toby's going, most likely Capitalist is. And he says, I will be joining at Toby1 Dota in Shanghai. First visit to mainland China. Happy to go to another adventure. Next, we have Blitz who just says, I go to Major. It's short and simple, you know. Now, sadly, with all those people going, we have some news of people that are not going, including the Haas, who will not be attending the Shanghai Major. He says, I won't be at Shanghai either. Understandable, but very disappointed. Red Eye says, I won't be at the Shanghai Major. It's a shame perfect world don't want me there. Hopefully I'll get to do some Dota this year though. We'll most likely get some more announcement of who's going and who's not, but that's it for today. If you liked the video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe, but I'll catch you guys next time.